Thank you, Amber. New at six, abortion is becoming one of the top issues in Arizona's midterm election. Yeah, political reporter Mark Phillips shows us how Arizona votes on the issue may also determine control of the state legislature. District four is by definition a swing district. In 2018, voters chose Doug Ducey for governor and Kirsten Sinema for the U.S. Senate. It's the sort of place where issues like reproductive health care can resonate. If there is a ground zero on abortion, it's here in Legislative District 4, where two state Senate incumbents, Christine Marsh, the Democrat, is pro-choice, and Nancy Bartow, the Republican, is the face of the abortion laws in Arizona. Prior to redistricting, former state lawmaker Heather Carter represented some of what is now District 4. I think this issue will be one that voters will take very serious in the general election. According to pollster Paul Benz, reproductive rights is quickly becoming a signature issue in Arizona's general election. Ben says voters support reproductive rights over criminalizing abortions by a two to one margin. Republicans um, clearly overplayed their hand a little bit going into this general election. I think they thought it was a safe time to do this. I don't think they expected to get as much pushback um, from the electorate as they're seeing on this topic. Carter believes that could very well be the case in District 4. When it comes to this issue, it is very complicated and people hold deeply held beliefs. But at the end of the day, the majority of the voters want some sort of exception in the law, and that does not exist. Republicans are taking notice. Last week, U.S. Senate candidate Blake Masters softened his abortion position on his website. Masters no longer says he's 100 percent pro-life. No one expects Nancy Bartow to soften her pro-life stance, but Republican consultant Stan Barnes says being on the losing side of the abortion issue in November may have consequences in January. It might tip the legislature because the legislature is so close in balance between Republicans and Democrats. Mark Phillips, ABC 15, Arizona.